Why, hello there. Welcome to another episode where I teach you how to sound like a film snob. Now I've been receiving lots of questions lately with various cinematic issues. And today, I'm going to answer those questions that fit a certain theme. Specifically, how to watch a film. The first is an email that comes from Mr. Peter Dragon, and it reads, Dear Film Snob, First off, really great sweaters. Secondly, I have a bit of an argument with my wife. She prefers full screen, while I like widescreen. Is one of us right? Thanks. Peter, that's an excellent question with a very simple answer. Widescreen is the only way to watch a film. I mean, the, the filmmaker intended this to be his picture, not this pan and scan nonsense. Now, there is a way for you to all to avoid Peter's problem. I recommend a prenuptial agreement. That way, if one of the spouses buys a full screen DVD, the marriage is considered null and void. Everyone takes back what they bring to the table. The same goes for buying a Rob Schneider DVD. The next is a letter that comes from Monument Valley, and it reads, Dear Film Snob, how can one man be so awesome? It's as if your body was sculpted like a Greek god, yada, yada, yada. I was wondering the other day about the quality of the viewing. People always talking about HD and surround sound with their home viewing system, yet shouldn't the quality of the film speak on its own without these unnecessary enhancements? Keep up the great work, Marion Davies. Thank you, Marion. That's an excellent question. Yet, unfortunately, you were wrong. You wouldn't hang up Picasso in the bathroom, and you wouldn't watch Fellini on a 19-inch TV. It is perfectly acceptable to take out a loan to get a proper viewing system. Everyone's a third mortgage nowadays. Oh, someone left a message on my Twitter account. And it's our very own Keith Jackson, executive producer of The Real Deal. Let's see what he says here. At Film Snob, what do I do when my house phone goes off when I'm watching a movie? Thanks. First off, they're called films, Keith. We've, we've been over this. Secondly, I thought everyone knew this. You disconnect all the phones in your house before you start a film. I mean, this is film watching 101, Keith. I, I didn't know you were such an amateur. I mean, this is what you want to do, right? This is what your job is, right? I mean, this is... How do you think you're going to survive in Hollywood if you, if you don't know this? Are you hearing what he's saying? <laughs> yeah. It's freaking hilarious. No, 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 no. What can you say in VT26? Um, he said we can't hear that. Too bad. Roll it. Welcome to Kenny Jones' video blog, where I show you all the coolest places around Muncie. It's November 21st, 2008. This is episode 37. Yeah! Uh, right now I'm outside Ki Kira Sodi Showplace 7. Showplace! Hey, is that Resident Film Sub, Austin Luger? Hey, hey Austin. Austin, hey. Hey, uh, uh, what movie did you see? They're called films, Kenny. Kenny, they're, they're called films. Okay, so sorry, sorry, what film did you see? I saw, um... Twilight? Twilight? You saw Twilight? It's, it's actually a really... Deep uh, philosophical. Never air this. And that concludes another episode where I teach you how to sound like a film snob. I think you've learned a lot today. Now you can go home and watch a film properly. Back to you at the studio.